Hi everyone, Greg here with Laser Bear. I had a few people ask for a little bit more clarification on how the cabling is done uh, and connected to the blue retro board. So I just wanted to kind of address those concerns um, and then also how to install the antenna plug. So this is an IPEX, I believe is the terminology for it, connector for an antenna. They are kind of like a uh, quick connect deal. And they just go on this little brass ring right there, or gold ring, I guess. And you just push it on. There's not a whole lot to it. Um, it does have a little bit of force to being pushed on. Uh, and it can be removed if you need to remove it, but that's kind of where that goes. And then you have in your kit a female to female cable that has these little kind of indents at the top edge, makes it look like a couple of mountains. This is an Adams connector. And this goes into the port directly next to this relay. So this big cream relay, there's a little cream colored port next to it. And the Adams connector just pops in just like that. Side doesn't matter. The connectors themselves polarize the wires, so that doesn't matter. And then the next cable you have is this female to male cable. You know, look at the end of it and you could plug it into itself if you really wanted to. I mean, you don't get infinite power or anything, but that's kind of for the purpose of extending this port. So that goes into this bigger bottom connector and it just snaps right into that port. And then when you go to install it, the fan, which you would unplug from its port here, goes into this third connector, which is this little guy, and we just plug it right in. So the next step would be to route your wires up to the front of the console. We're gonna also unplug this connector. That just unplugs like so. So our Adams connector, the one that looks like a couple of mountains, goes into where that cable came out of. And it's got a good tight fit to it. Next, the one that looks like an extension, or has the, the male side of the connector to it, all you do is plug your original console cable in here. Now there's no retention that works with this. This connector does not exist anymore, so I can't purchase like replacement parts for it. Um, but this JSD connector is the correct size and it has the correct pin size which are the two important parts about the connector. And once it's in place, it doesn't really move, so it's not gonna unplug itself or anything. And the other thing to note, if for some reason your wires don't match color-wise, that is not a problem. These cables are just like this one, where if I were to flip it around, the color color or color code would be opposite. So they are not polarized by the coloring, they are polarized by the connector. So if the wires end up being different on each side, it's not a big deal. It's not gonna hurt anything. Uh, we polarize everything with the connectors that we used um, rather than relying on color coding or anything along those lines. And that's really the gist of having to do the wire management for the Blue Retro board. Hopefully these little tidbits help with your install if you're having a little bit of trouble. Um, Thank you and have a great day.